this week on the internet is a series of talk about all the topics missed during the week. And first up, we have the Black Ops 6 reveal. And they're really gonna give us too much info, except this is around 2001, when 9-11 happened. So Black Ops 6 is probably related to 9-11 somehow. And I'm a big fan of the advertising of this. They did a good job with it. Treyarch has always been pretty good with advertising, and Black Ops 6 is no exception. Now, besides the reveal, we also know a little bit more about this game. We know the price is $70, which is not really a surprise. Every COD has been $70 for like the last little bit. And also that this game is gonna be on last gen console which is ridiculous. This game should not be on last gen consoles. It is just holding back the current game. Putting this game on last gen consoles is just punishing people who actually bought the newest console. And I understand that the new consoles are expensive, okay? I get that, but guys, the old consoles are 10 years old. Can we move on? All this is doing is making the game worse because this game is trying to run on a console that is like one tenth the power of the console it's supposed to run on. This just holds back development for any version that's not on a toaster. It's not a good move. I don't like it. The PS4 and the Xbox One should just be laid to rest, okay? They're old, let them die. It's also a little ridiculous. They're still supporting these old consoles and also complaining simultaneously about their console sales. Like, oh, I wonder why people aren't buying the new consoles. It's almost like they don't have to. But in the last bit of COD news, COD should be on Game Pass on day one. I'm sure at least a few of you have Game Pass, so this might be good for you. But also, COD going on the Game Pass devalues COD because Game Pass is $10 a month and COD is $70. So long term, this is probably not going to be good. And it's not going to be good for any game. As if now $10 a month is a really good deal. But remember, this is going to be just like Netflix. They're going to get all these games on Game Pass. Game Pass is going to be your best option. Then they're going to jack up the price slowly over time. Game Pass will easily be $30 a month in 5 to 10 years. It is just an unsustainable business model. Hellblade 2 is currently seeing this problem. The game got like 3,000 actual people to buy it and play it on Steam when it was released on Game Pass. And it's a no-brainer. Pay $50 up front for a 5-hour long game or pay $10 a month to play it for 5 hours and unsubscribe. It is actually a no-brainer. I also saw the guy who made Manor Lawrence chime into this, and he said that in his case, Game Pass didn't really affect his sales, and I think that's just because the people who are interested in Manor Lawrence don't care about games on Game Pass. I think it's really just the main reason. Like, the target demographic for Game Pass is probably like 13 to 18, and people who would want to play Manor Lords are probably well above 25. I just don't think the audiences have massive overlap. Now, I could be wrong. That's just a hunch I have. But overall, mark my words, Game Pass will cause massive issues within the industry. And next up, we have Spotify disabling the car thing. Now, if you don't the car thing, Spotify released this little tablet thing to put in your car to listen to music. And it's a pretty cool little device. The problem is, is most people just use their phones. So it wasn't that big of a success. So they gave up on it pretty quickly. But people started finding uses for this thing and they found that it was really useful outside their car. Like I've seen people who have these at parties and you can just change the music however you want because it's right there on the coffee table, which is a pretty cool use for it. There's also people who modify these things and tinker with them. It's a cool little device that people like to use. It just doesn't have a wide audience. It's very niche. But Spotify has decided they're going to decide all of them. Spotify plans to disable every card thing and you won't be able to use it at all. They literally recommend you throw it away, which is one really scummy. This thing is three years old. Like it can't be that hard to give it software support. You made it. If you made it hard to update, that's your own fault. Why'd you do that, moron? I think it's pretty unacceptable to release a product and then three years later, recommend people throw it away. Like that's literally what they recommended you do. There is no excuse for doing this. It might be a really dumb product, but you made it, Spotify. You should at least support it for, I don't know, five to 10 years. Three years is ridiculous. And I've also seen people say this is illegal and it sounds illegal, I agree, but I don't know for sure if this is illegal. I couldn't find a specific law that said you couldn't do this. There's probably something that I'm just not finding and it feels illegal, but yeah, I couldn't confirm that. The biggest takeaway from this is Spotify is terrible and they will never be able to release a physical product again. There is no chance anyone is ever going to buy a physical product from Spotify ever again. You can't just release a product and then discontinue it three years later. That doesn't look good at all. Why would we ever buy anything from you again, Spotify, there's no reason to. The only track record Spotify has is a product they're recommending you throw away. So yeah, this is really stupid for a lot of reasons. And I really hope Spotify gets sued for this because it sounds illegal. And next up, we have Red Lobster's bankruptcy. Now, if you're an Avid's Patents viewer, we both knew this was gonna happen. A couple of weeks ago, we talked about how Red Lobster is considering bankruptcy and now they are bankrupt. And this is by choice, to be clear. They're not closing all locations, but they are gonna have to shrink down their operations a little bit. And the main reason this happened was because the unlimited shrimp that they couldn't stop doing like seriously, they were losing money on like every person who bought it. It is insane they did that. So yeah, Unlimited Shrimp bankrupt Red Lobster. And next up, Scarlett Johansson might sue OpenAI. It's pretty likely actually. Now, if you saw the ChatGPT 4.0 reveal, the voice of ChatGPT 4.0 sounds similar to Scarlett Johansson. And this is probably not by coincidence because previously Sam Altman tried to work with Scarlett Johansson for this voice and she declined. Then the voice comes out and it sounds like her and they deny it. But then Sam Altman tweets her on his Twitter account and reference to the ChatGPT 4.0 release 
face in the movie Her, which has Scarlett Johansson voicing the robot in that movie. So basically, they got caught trying to mimic Scarlett Johansson's voice, allegedly. In my personal opinion, they definitely did do that. But legally speaking, that has not been proven. It just doesn't look good if you tried to work with her before, and then she said no, and then the voice is released, and it sounds like her, and then the CEO of the company tweets her in reference to a movie that she was the AI in. And she sounds like the real robot that talks and the fake one. It just sounds like it made it sound like Scarlett Johansson to OpenAI. I don't know what to tell you. It doesn't look good for you. Also, as OpenAI, it's really dumb to do this. Scarlett Johansson is known for suing companies all of the time. Why would you take her voice out of everyone you could have taken the voice for? It's just really stupid. And next up, we have Live Nation being sued by the USA. Now, if you don't know what Live Nation is, they're the people who own Ticketmaster. You know, your favorite concert company that scams you. They're being sued for for unlawful and anti-competitive business activities. None of this has actually been proven, but let's be honest here for a second, they're horrible. Ticketmaster is horrible, and if you think they're not, you're insane, you're delusional. Yeah, I'm glad the US is suing them. They need to be broken up. They price gouge like crazy. They go against what artists want all of the time. They're genuinely a horrible company, and I am so glad they're being sued. I don't even go to concerts. Like, I've maybe used Ticketmaster like one time. I just don't like companies that are basically monopolies. And next up, we have Google's new AI summary feature, which is horrible. It's so bad. Google must really be tired of being the number one search engine in the world because this thing is actually terrible. Here's one screenshot of someone looking up, I'm depressed, and the Google AI summary recommended they jump off the Golden Gate Bridge. And here's another one about pizza where they recommended you use glue to make the cheese not fall off pizza. Yeah, this thing is uh, brain dead. Google better clean up their act real quick because they're worse than they were when they first launched. They are practically begging for a lawsuit. They are like 99% of the search market and their products are being universally teared down. There's not a single actual human being with a brain who is looking at Google right now thinking they're doing a good job. There's also thousands of examples of this thing messing up search, by the way. It's not just a few things. Like, it seriously cannot get the right answers for anything except for super basic questions. This is genuinely, like, pathetic. Like, this is Google, okay? This is one of the biggest companies in the entire world, in history. And their AI tells you to jump off the Golden Gate Bridge. It's insane. It's also a little frustrating as a YouTuber because Google owns YouTube. And uh, I can't say bad words or I get demonetized, but your AI can tell people to jump off the Golden Gate Bridge and it's not a problem for you? Really? That's ridiculous. That's insane. And, like, it's getting to a point where Google's allowing things that I can't even talk about them allowing because it's so stupid and against their own policy. Like, some of the stuff that AI is recommending you do, I can't even tell you because YouTube are the monetized video even though Google's recommending it. It is insane. I just want a functioning search engine, not an AI that tells me the wrong things all of the time. The search engine's already gotten worse over the last 10 years. Like it's basically useless now. And now Google is using an AI to sift the Reddit comments and give you the most useless information from the Reddit comments. Like, I don't know how you managed to make the AI pick the dumbest Redditor and use their example. I really don't. And I seriously cannot believe that they really thought using Reddit as an information source was a good idea. Like that's insane. That's an insane thing to do. And next up, the Doge dog, Kabusu, has unfortunately passed away. Kabusu was 18 years old, so lived a very long life and passed away May 24th, 2024. It's unfortunate, but Kabusu lived on forever on the internet because this meme has been immortalized. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. Like, subscribe, new following, Twitter, ads, spend, one click, answer, and check out more of my content and have a good one.